Hello everyone, welcome again to another Word for the Day with Ray. And as we normally do, let's go to the Lord in prayer before we begin. Heavenly Father, again, it is always such a joy to know that we have an almighty God who is ready to teach us through your word uh, what you'd have us know about you and your son Jesus Christ and your ways. So I pray by your Holy Spirit you will teach us today uh, according to the words in the book of Galatians written by Paul. We thank you, Lord, for Jesus, and it's in his name we pray. Amen. The title to today's lesson is Paul's Early Travels, and it's taken from Galatians chapter 1 and verse 21. When we read the words of Paul the Apostle, we may be inclined to think about his early days of conversion. What was he like? Where did he go? How did he feel when he knew that he was going one direction so adamantly, and now he's going the total opposite direction? As we have considered his persuasions toward the Galatian churches, we have discovered some of these answers. And as we continue to read his words to them, we will know more about Paul's early Christian days. He wrote in chapter 1 and verse 21, Afterwards, I came into the regions of Syria and Cilicia. After Paul's visit with Peter and his meeting with James, Paul left Jerusalem and traveled northward to the areas of Syria and Cilicia, which border the Mediterranean Sea. Paul didn't stay with the churches in Judea, but went away to others who were in distant places. We shall learn in a couple of days, but they had heard only that he which persecuted us in time past now preaches the faith which once he destroyed. They only heard of Paul's works because he wasn't around them. Tarsus, Paul's hometown, was located in Cilicia, and it's quite possible that he went there for some time. However, it is interesting to note that Galatia is just north of Cilicia, and it may have been a while he was, uh, may have been while he was there that the idea of reaching Galatia with the gospel came into Paul's mind. We're not really sure, but it is an interesting thought. It is in the times of the mundane and normalcy that God is often preparing us for the work he has in mind. Though Paul traveled from place to place in his early Christian days, it was as if he was in preparation for the missionary journeys he would venture on upon uh, during his commissioned work. All along the way, God had his hand upon Paul. And now that Paul has discovered error in the doctrine being presented to and believed by the churches in Galatia, he uses past, even his normal past, to convey to the church members the grace of God. It was never about the works of Paul, but rather about the guiding grace of Jesus Christ that governed Paul's life. So when is the last time we took a venture of faith? Have we traveled to some distant land without regard to the protection of the securities we are often misled to believe are truly secure? Have we worried over what others might think should we be led by God in some direction that may seem foolish at the time? Have we realized that the sovereign almighty God may be using the mundane and normal directions of our lives to prepare us for even greater exploits in his kingdom? Perhaps the testimony of Paul will inspire all of us to wonder, what will my words be to others afterwards? Next time we will discover that not everyone knew of Paul when he was converted to Jesus. So read ahead. And let us join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.